Shami, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in today's video, I'm going to be creating a very bronzy makeup look. It was highly requested on my Instagram. So recently, I just posted a video on my Instagram, and so many of you asked me to do this exact tutorial. So luckily, I created uh, this makeup tutorial using all the drugstore products which i am very happy about i know you guys love drugstore makeup so i was like yeah let me do it and let me tell you all the products that i'm using today are under 1000 rupees but mainly they're under i think 500 rupees but a few of them are under 1000 rupees and yeah without further ado let's jump to the video going to zoom you guys a little bit in so you guys can see clearly what I'm doing so yeah, I think this should be fine so I've already done my skincare routine as you guys can already tell I've also applied sunscreen because I use a lot of uh, you know vitamin C uh, retinol products and all of that so it's very important for me to like use a good sunscreen and I like to use my sunscreen every three to four hour once so I've already done my skincare uh, I've already used uh, you know SPF or sunscreen on my face but this is what I used so this is the Lotus you know sunblock it's an ultra protect sunblock it has an SPF of 70 and uh, PA++ so it's also it also protects from UVA plus UVB protection and it, it also is an anti-tan uh, so which is great this prevents me from sweating which I love especially for summers just use a generous amount of sunscreen you guys I'm telling you so yeah as you guys can see this is a tinted one and it is very beautifully and it sits so beautifully on like you know our complexion before commenting in the comment section saying that oh my god you use a lot of product and stuff like that you have to like use a good amount of sunscreen in order for your you know in order to protect your skin so i cannot like i have to use a nice good amount of sunscreen uh the areas where i've been like exposing i don't know why this is showing white on camera but it's actually tinted and it's very really nice uh, if also if you have like oily skin do use this um you know it doesn't allow your skin to like uh, produce excess oil and also excess sweat so for me it's sweating so normally whenever i use any other sunscreens like a normal sunscreen it just like you know my face sweats so much after a while but this one just mattifies my face and it just makes it look so even uh, I can just use this and go outside with like a lipstick and some you know eye like an eyeliner and lipstick and I'll be done but you have to like definitely check this out and the fact that it has an SPF of 70 is great you guys can leave it for like uh, you know for about five minutes and then start off with makeup so I'm just going to start off with my makeup now for that the first product I'm going to use is obviously a primer because I normally don't use a primer during winters primer just helps to close my pores and also reduce uh, sweating so yeah that's why I love using primer especially during summers I love it uh, so this is the Faces Ultime Pro Perfecting Primer. It's a very nice primer. It blurs your imperfections. It helps in mattifying. Uh, and then it also reduces uh, wrinkles and reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles on your face. And also gives a nice smooth look. And uh, they also say it delivers long stay makeup. So yeah, that's why I love this. I mean, this is good. It's good. So I'm just going to use on the areas like almost like on my entire face but concentrate mostly on the places where like you know I have larger pores like over here 
around my mouth so I don't like sweat actually and uh, on my forehead so as you guys can see again this just like instantly mattified my face and I totally love it uh, also even though I have like dry skin there's something I like to do because as I said I sweat a lot uh, so this really helps for me to not sweat and uh, the, the reason why I'm doing this also is because the other day when I used this makeup it stayed for a long time like even when I was you know sweating after a while uh, like this makeup stayed so yeah that's why I'm like showing you guys how to do it because it's very helpful for summers and it also stayed for like a good eight hours and it did not like remove my makeup from any which way so yeah I've been loving to do this routine so next product which is a dear and near friend of every brown skin girl must have is a color corrector also don't use a lot of uh, this product because it is very very pigmented a little product is enough to cover uh, your darkness Also kind of push it inside your lips because uh, these are the places where like you know it usually tends to be really dark so just push it on those places so it just like covers all of that and uh, I don't think like other places require any color correction I'm just going to use a good full coverage foundation so before using my foundation I'm just going to take my Neutrogena uh, lip balm you can actually use any lip balm uh, I just use this so it is like hydrated enough uh, by the end of this video and it's very important to like keep your uh, you know skin and lips and everything like really hydrated especially during summers because this is a season where your skin tends to get really dry even though you feel like you're sweating or like your oil glands are producing this is the season where your skin gets extremely dry and you get dark and all of that uh, skin problems occur so yeah uh, do moisturize and for my foundation today, I am going to be using this one. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour uh, foundation. Yeah, I'm in the shade 320 Honey. So I'm just going to take like one full pump on the back of my hand. And with the help of a beauty blender, you can actually use anything. This is a beauty blender, original one, but you can use a real techniques. I have used real techniques so much, it's been very dirty. So I'm going to like, you know, dampen this up and I'll be right back. So I'm just going to dot this foundation all over my face. This is a full coverage foundation. And since I'm going to use a beauty blender, it's just going to give like a nice natural effect. This foundation is so good you guys. I've been using it recently and it also like it not only gives like a very good full coverage but also this kind of doesn't you know uh, produce more oils or even it is like sweat proof foundation so it's really nice if you are a person who like sweats a lot then definitely give this a shot and whatever is remaining I'm just going to take it around my eye area. This is a full glam for like summer makeup. It's not my everyday kind of a makeup look or something. So don't comment me in the comments saying that oh my god you use a lot of makeup and all of that but whatever. And for my uh, concealer I'm going to take my trusty NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade medium. And I'm also going to take it on my eyelids. I like this because it has kind of a peachy tint so if you have any darkness it's going to like cancel all of that. I don't like to use a lot on my chin and again taking the same beauty blender I'm just going to blend all of this.
and whatever is remaining i'm just going to take it on my around my mouth so as you guys can see it instantly like brightened our under eyes and also gave that coverage and also it gave kind of like a brightness to my you know uh, to the areas where i want to like bring forth so yeah i totally absolutely love it so next for my uh, setting powder again this is something new i got i mean during the holy sale and ever since then i've been like using this and i've been obsessed of this powder this is the fit me loose powder in the shade light the reason why i got this is because it's not translucent it still has some color like i have uh, the compact powder in light and that shade is amazing it just like brightens my under eyes so well so that's the reason i got this one right over here so next for my contour today i'm going to take this rimmel natural bronzer and uh, it's very nice it's waterproof bronzing powder and i'm just going to like you know bronze and contour my face and then i'm going to take the wet n wild dulce de leche contouring palette and i'm just going to take this contour side i'm going to contour my nose i'm going to make this big clumpy nose a little small and thin and snatched so that's why i'm doing this And now I'm going to take this banana shade and I'm just going to brighten my face even more. Look at that. It just looks so snatched. So today for my blush, I'm going to take this Essence Silky Touch blush and this is in the shade 20 Baby Doll. such a pretty pink color i normally don't use this kind of blushes but it's nice you know light baby pink color so that's why i'm like yeah let's use it and this kind of has like can you see some sheen to it look at that it just gave like a nice flush of color to our face and this also has a nice sheen so it also like gave like a glow to my face so first i'm going to start off with my brows and that uh, and for that i'm going to use the miss claire brow pencil now i had like uh, reviewed about this product in my cheapest makeup on nykaa so it's been really nice it's in the shade dark brown i've been like loving this so much So I'm just going to use this to you know kind of do my brows today. It's a nice waterproof eyebrow pencil. So if you if you have any harsh lines you just can like brush out your hair and it just makes it look seamless. Look at that brow. Wow, I absolutely love this pencil so much. Okay, so this is the most event that I can make. So yeah, I'm not going to do anything much, but I absolutely love this product. It's just for 60 rupees and you guys definitely must check this out. So yeah, guys, coming to my eyes, I'm really excited for my eyes because uh this is what like is the main point of you guys requesting me to do this video in the first place. So I have these two palettes with me. Now, uh I don't have a lot of palettes or eyeshadow, a good eyeshadow palettes or good eyeshadows from like drug store range. So I have these two palettes which I've been loving and this is what I used. 
So this is the Wet n Wild color icon, uh, you know, rose in air. It's a 10 pan eyeshadow, and this is the all natural uh, Wet n Wild all natural eyeshadow palette, and it's in nude awakening. So this palette has like nice mauvey brown shades, as you guys can see, it also has a black shade, which we are going to use today. So first, taking the nude awakening palette, I'm going to take this shade right over here which is like a nice mauve undertone brown shade so these eyeshadow palettes are very pigmented uh, so just be careful so also this shade is very dark I have just like zoomed you guys in so you can see better uh, so be careful about this so what I'm doing here exactly is since this product is very pigmented and kind of like really dark to first start off uh, I'm going to like uh, take it on this dome brush and this is from uh, this uh, Morphe G24 brush and I'm just going to you know use this right on my crease so put the eyeshadow in the outer corner and then kind of take it on your crease so again just tap it and then slowly move towards your inner corner and then use like a windshield wiper motion and just go all the way in so it just emphasizes your crease much better next i'm going to take the rose in air eyeshadow palette so i'm going to take these two the orange and the reddish brown shade so mixing these two shades I'm then going to use it on my crease. Make sure you take the orange more than the reddish brown shade. That's really nice. So again doing the same thing I'm going to take it on my lower lash line. The trick here is to pinch your eye brush so it just like forms that nice uh, base for your under eyes or else it's just going to go everywhere and uh, yeah it kind of looks messy so i make such awful faces when i'm doing my eye makeup so from the same nude awakening palette i'm going to take this black shade And then I'm slightly going to take it closer to my lower lash line as possible. So look at that, it just gives like a nice cat eye effect which I love. So I'm just going to go back to my blending brush and I'm going to slightly blend all of this. So from the rosé in the air palette, I'm going to take this uh, golden champagne golden kind of a shade. So it's a shimmery shade, I'm going to take it all over my eyelids. And lastly, I'm going to take this uh, liquid eyeshadow from Nika K. It's in the shade called Earthly Bronze and I'm going to apply this wherever I've used that champagne gold shade and I'm also going to take this eyeshadow underneath my eyes and taking some more orange I'm just going to use it so everything looks uh, very warm and nice so for my kajal I'm going to take the plum kajal 
and this is very good especially for summers because it is waterproof it's sweat proof it's smudge proof and stays all day so this is really nice So I'm not going to use any eyeliner today because this is already kind of giving us like a cat eye effect. So I'm going to take the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. It's been my current favorite and uh, it's waterproof mascara which is great again for summers. So for highlighter today I have the Maybelline Master, uh, Master Chrome Highlighter and this is in the shade Molten Gold. Trust me, I, ever since I have got this, I have been using this, I am in love with this uh, highlighter. I had recommended Laura Mercier, no, uh, Laura Giller Gilded Honey, that's my favorite and this has been my absolute favorite now. It just suits my skin tone so well and it looks amazing on my skin tone. So yeah, I absolutely love it and it's such a blinding highlighter. Wow, look at that you guys. So pretty. So that's that and lastly for my lips I have three products right over here. So this one is again a recent buy. Uh, it's from Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. So it's in the shade 125 Magnetic Mauve. So I'm going to like line and also fill in those gaps. Okay, so next I'm going to take this Maybelline Color Jolt Matte Sensational Lip Paint and it's in the shade 15 Sleeping Nude, no Sleeping Naked. It's like this mousse texture which is very nice. Since we have a very bold eyes, I'm going to go with the very nude lips. So this just looks so pretty just by itself but I'm going to add a gloss and for that I have it's the Essence XXX or Triple XL Nude Gloss and it's in the shade uh, 06 Soft Almond. I'm going to use the Scott Barnes technique where he said uh, just like push your gloss up so it just kind of makes your lips more bigger and glossier wow this made our lips so juicy and nice so lastly for my makeup to just uh, set everything in place so I'm going to use the Elegal Pro setting spray So yeah guys, this is my look. So I'm just going to go and change my outfit. I'm going to use the outfit that I was wearing that day. And I'm also going to use some jewelry and I'll be right back. Wow, and I just want to like glow like a glow goddess. So I'm going to take the highlighter all over and just like bathe in it. And just use some on the boobies. Yes! And also, I'm going to use it on my ear. 
So my ear just shine bright like a diamond. Wow. I mean, to achieve this whole makeup look using products that are under 1000 rupees is great. I feel really nice and I just use some Huda Beauty lashes. I know these are like really expensive but I don't have any other lashes. I have never used any other lashes other than these. I think it's time for me to like kind of experiment with uh, other lashes and use other products as well. But this is what I had for today. Uh, you definitely don't have to use this you can use any lashes you can use Ardell you can use uh, you know pack lashes I have seen they're really good so that's it uh, that's it I did for this makeup so yeah guys here we come to the end of this video I hope you all really enjoyed uh, and I hope I did a good job with uh, showing you this makeup and using all the drugstore products uh, please give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a brand new video so I'll catch you guys with another interesting video next time until then you know the drill keep slaying I love you all so much Bye!